Hello guys, it's uh, Nico Fry Games here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a uh, review that no one wanted. Is it going to be the review on the uh, Sidewinder in Elite Dangerous? This is the starting ship you get in the game. It is the first ship you get, and uh, let's just go over it. It's going to be really, really quick. I don't want to make these reviews too uh, long, but let's get into it. Okay, so, as we discussed, it's the first ship in the game. It has the lowest amount of fuel. Fuel. Its jump range, range isn't that good. And, yeah, so, as you, as you see, we have no shields on us right now. And let's go over to the uh, starboard services and look at our outfitting so we can get a good view of the ship this is our ship so let's look at our hard points all we got are these two small number one hard points which we can uh, equip with burst lasers rail guns cannons fragmentation cannons pulse lasers but they're not gonna do too much damage so the three you can put on here you see right here we have a pulse la laser already installed but we can have a burst la laser that's gimbaled and gimbaled means that it does the aiming for you and the turreted burst laser means it automatically fires at anything that comes within range, so. So, it's not good on the firepower department. Let's go to the utility mounts. It only has two utility mounts. And the utility mounts, is you can put kill warrant scanners, manifest scanners, and wake scanners. That's literally all you can put on, on these ones. Let's go, let's look at the core internals. So right now, it has lights, alloys, number one, one C. We can invest in any of these right now, which gives us a hull boost, which means we get pretty much uh, our hull hull bikini, hull, hull integrity become increases, so we be, become more tanky. Lightweight alloy, we already have that in. We can choose refined alloy and military composite. So it can, we can increase our integrity, but it decreases our uh, jump range. Mirrored surface, which means it, it pretty much, uh, it's only vulnerable to projectile weapons, but it's a good defense against lasers. And then reactive composite armor is more more protection against impact weapons, but not but is vulnerable to uh, lasers. So you can upgrade this if you want, but that's not what you want to do. It's a beginning ship. You can get a better one. Power plant. This station doesn't have one, but you can upgrade to the level twos. Which are meh. Here are our thrusters. Up, we can only upgrade to this one. And it becomes faster, but that's not what we want. We want a better ship. But the first thing you ever want to do when you get a new ship is get a frame shift drive. And then life support system, we don't care about that. You can upgrade the power distributor if you want. But that's if you want to. And it doesn't have, it can only carry two tons of fuel. And then let's look at the optional, optional internals. You can hold cargo racks on it if you want. You can put cargo racks, FSD, interdictors, which means frame shift drive interdictors, flight assists. I, I highly encourage you, every time you get a ship, 
get the advanced docking computer. It really, really helps. You can put a fuse cube on it, hull reinforcements, module reinforcements. You can put any of these on here. Can we put actually put a... Oh, we can. Oh, shit. That's good. We can put vehicle hangers in here, but surface scanners, detailed surface scanners. And then we're gonna get rid of this uh, cargo compartment. Then you can put any of these in here on the on the uh, optional internals if you want. But this ship is an okay ship to start out with, but I highly, highly recommend once you have enough money to get rid of the ship and get a better one, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do that. So, its jump range is okay as a jump range of 8 light years right now. You can increase that with a better frame shift drive, but other than that, the Sidewinder isn't that great. So let's take a look at the cockpit, see how it looks. So as you can see, it's very cramped, very basic. And when you first get into the game, this will be your first target, and it says that these are just target practice uh, drones, so. That's about it for the uh, Sidewinder. I'll get into more uh, other ship reviews if this becomes a trend. But uh, don't forget to comment down below, like, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.